Conversation again. I have my lovely friends today. Wazito, Davis, Mike, Et, and Ron. <laughs> Legends in their own way. Yeah. So um, today I want us to talk about taking risks. Mm-hmm. And I read somewhere that uh, when you love something, you will take a risk for it. If you love someone, you will take many risks for for them. Yeah, so maybe we can share our incidences where we have taken a risk. Uh, Michael, share with us an incident where you took a risk. (laughs) Okay. uh, uh, There's a time uh, I wanted uh, a PCB. PCB is a a sort of uh, you see a motherboard, those components are the board, mm, it's called mm, a PCB. Mm-hmm. But now I wanted one customized according to my preference. Mm-hmm. So it has everything I want, it's just coming and connecting it. Mm-hmm. <coughs> and uh, then I didn't know how to ship things from abroad. So this time uh, I saw it was being sold uh, in China, so I ordered it. Uh, up to date has never come. That's uh, one year. <laughs> Something ago. China! China! But China! I'm still We're calling you out. <laughs> I'm still waiting. That's a real risk. I'm still waiting. You know that money? <laughs> how, how much did you pay? It was, uh, I think, 8,000. Eh? Wow. Yes, it was, uh, it, okay. They were not making one PCP. They were making, they were selling a minimum of four. Okay for the customization. So one was I think two thousand. Mm-hmm. But I ordered the minimum four. Four yeah. <laughs> so for yeah. that is eight thousand. Wow. Plus she <coughs> so <laughs> that money is somewhere. And yeah. when you when you try to contact them is there any I uh, know actually what they tell you is uh they've already shipped it out. So they can't give you money back. Wow and there's no waiting time like telling you this is how uh, no much it's going to because uh once it gets out of China, that's it. It's uh, it's way over. So from there, the, you you get information from maybe JKI, maybe DHL mm. that they have received the package by this name to this someone, so they can send it to you. But from there, so let's hope it's in Africa. I'm just at least it's in Africa, or maybe it's in JKI somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm hoping uh, someday I'll get it. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Hopefully, yes. UT. Mm-hmm. Any, I'm sure you've taken many risks. <laughs> it's a risk taker. Yeah. Yes, he's the risk manager. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so which one do you want? Uh, any, um, any that is good for you. Any, any uh, part of your life. I think one risk is okay. I've done several. One risk. The one that I think business is all about risk. Yeah. So there was this day I went and talked to this guy about this awesome idea. Uh-huh. Then the guy gave me all the money I needed. Wow. To run that event. Mm. So looking back, I wish I would have bought uh, equipment instead of doing that event. Because like, all the money went to that event. Mm. And I was like, ah, <coughs> ah this event will, will do another one. So this event, I think, went to invites only. Mm. There was no entry fee. Wow. 
So yeah, so I sank around 130, 120k. Wow. Hey. And uh, so, and then now, a few months later, I called the guy again. <laughs> and he still supported me once more. Wow. Nice. He gave me 10k though. Mm -hmm. So now, uh, I think I'm. That really scary. The, the for the first event, I actually didn't. I went home with debt. Mm. I had to sell my nini, my piano because the sound guy. <laughs> sound guy was one like, like wow. Buddha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you're the people who take advantage of small businesses. Yeah. Kesho, uh -huh. mm. hey? So I had to sell my nini. Yeah. I had I had I had a PSR. Wow. I have to say it. Uh, because of that, and it's only because I didn't plan myself for it. Yes, yes. And uh, maybe I'm jumping. Mm -hmm. But uh, the aspect of risk, and I learned from it. But mostly it's what the Bible says mm -hmm. where there is advice, many advice, uh, plans succeed. Mm -hmm. So the people who advised me, mm -hmm. they were advising me on doing the event, they never advised me on anything else. Okay. Like, I had, I did not have a holistic approach to okay. it. So that's why I jumped in All right. blind. Okay. Yeah. Wow. All right. Great lesson. <laughs> yes. Yes, Ron. Talk to us. Mm -hmm. Risk, risk. Mm -hmm. Mine's a bit funny. Mm -hmm. um, I, uh, why do I start now? Anyway, I'm not much of a risk taker, but mm -hmm. there, there's a time uh, we were in church mm -hmm. and uh, I was in a Bible class. So, so we were talking about tithing, mm -hmm. and then now we're talking about Malachi. So people started giving testimonies of how they tested God, eh? and he showed himself, he came through in a mighty way. Hmm. I was like, okay, maybe I should do this. So what did I do? I decided to risk. I gave 90% of my salary as tight. Wow. So, and you know, that means you only have 10% which should take you through the entire month. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I risked it. Still waiting for the outcome. Outcome. <laughs> wow. It's quite a risk. Yeah. Uh, I think about it now, I feel like laughing because, you know, I I did it with a, with a selfish motive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I wanted money. I wanted returns for money. But, oh, yeah. You know, sometimes God won't give you the money you want until he prepares you for it. Very true. So... I can't say it's a bad risk. Mm -hmm. It's a good risk I did. Because, yes. Because I know whatever God says in His Word, He shall surely perform. Maybe I'm not ready yet for the. Because it was quite a huge amount of money. Okay. I guess. I guess I'm not ready yet for the for the results or the returns. Mm -hmm. But it was a good risk. I'm not regretting it. Yeah. The one which I'm regretting. I did. <laughs> it was with Forex. I <laughs> that one. Wow. I don't think I'm going to Forex anytime soon. Yeah. It's always a um a, a lesson, you know, when you when you get to when you go, when you've gone through such an experience, mm. you learn from it. Yeah. Yeah. Then you you know, you back up and you you know, look for now, like you said, you know, where where you um have more advice from people. Then there is more wisdom yes. in how you deal with, with with an issue. Actually, I risked twice, forex twice. Got an advice from my my friend Paul. Mm -hmm. He was in forex also. He told mm -hmm. me, "Yo, you know, if you invest in these things, you'll get hundreds of thousands. You know, we have invested as a group. We're getting three hundred k per month." Ah, I'm saying, "Okay, I did once. I did the first risk. I think I invested five k." Wow. <laughs> wow. 
So I went back to him and told him, hey, dude, what happened? I followed all your advice, I read yes. all your books, yes. I watched all the tutorials, it went to yourself, what happened? Told him, uh, he told me, ah, don't worry, you know, these things happen, just keep trying, keep trying. So again, another five. <sighs> but this time I was a little bit careful, so when I'm checking, I see the, the losses are becoming too much, I stop. <laughs> okay. But now there's a time I was going to work from home. I left it running, I forgot. Wow. The next thing I, 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 I hear are messages. Ding, ding, ding. Your balance is below. <laughs> oh. 5K gone like that again. Yeah, yeah. I said, no, I'm not doing this again. Maybe wow. I should start considering crypto. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, now that we're talking about, um, you know, many sides of it, I know even in, you know, in relationships, that's an area we have not talked about uh, maybe next time. But you're young, you're vibrant, you know, getting to, I don't know that this would be like your prime, not yet, but at this level, you have dreams, you have hopes. Um, and when you look at yourself and five years from now, you probably have taken many risks to get to where you want to be. There could be someone who, a young person out there who, you know, wants to be in that safe space. They don't want to risk anything. But, you know, there's just the lessons you learn, you guys have learned from taking risks. You're not, you're not the same. Yes. You're different. You know how to do business. You know how to handle money differently. Um, then on the flip side, uh, you're Christians, you're followers of Jesus Christ. Um, you know, you talk about investing all, you know, most of your money, um, but then learning from it. What would be the big thing that you would say you are learning uh, and you're, you're applying in your life? And what would you tell a young person out there who feels, eh, you know, they, they can't do much, but it's just because they have a lot of fear. They, they don't want to risk, you know, coming out of their their shell. They don't want to try try stuff. Um, and they're still praying. You know, they're praying God come through for me. But they just don't want to take that chance to get out out there. So the big thing that you you're learning, that you're applying, um, and, and the one thing that you would encourage a young person out there. <coughs> who may be in your shoes? Um, for me, I'll remind them of the story of Jonathan when they were in battle during uh, think, yeah, during those days. Yeah? So they were fighting with the Philistines. But, but the Philistines have so many and I think there was a valley dividing them. Mm -hmm. So Jonathan and his armor bearer, was he? Yeah. Yeah. His armor bearer, they, they went, they were, he told his armor bearer, hey come, Let's go check out the Philistine, yeah? and um, let's do this. If they, they call us, we'll know that God has delivered us, delivered them to us, right? But if they say, stand there, we come for you, we know that um, we are going to lose. So, you know, that, that risk, th that risk they took, they mm -hmm. didn't just pray to God, oh Lord, deliver us, deliver us, but they also stepped out. Yes. They stepped out and went. And uh, we know the story. God, uh, God used the two of them. Mm. So um, you have to act also. Mm -hmm. Even as you're praying, you yes. also need to step out. Yes. Because you know Jesus said, "I'm with you always." Yeah. And and uh, even if things go don't go the way you expect them to. Yeah. Yeah. You remember, God says that my ways are not like your ways. Mm. So. You just let go, you know, just trust the Holy Spirit as He's guiding you. Because, you know, sometimes He might lead you to the failure so that you may learn to trust Him more. Or, or maybe He may just lead you direct to the success. But all in all, um, you should still um, learn to trust in God. Mm -hmm. Learn to trust in the Holy Spirit's guidance. Learn to, when you pray for something, also step out. Yes. Don't just sit there and wait for it to fall. Yes. You know, 
even even when when during the uh, Israelites um, transition from Egypt to to Canaan when they were in the desert mm-hmm. when God released manna they had to get out from their tents go big the manna you know mm-hmm. manna didn't come into their tents they had to go <coughs> yeah correct yeah so just step out and trust in the Lord step out step out trust in God and and when things don't work the way you want them to work still trust in God mm. because he will make a way he said yeah. he'll make a way where there seems to be no mm. way yes. you know, he says that all things will work together for good yeah. so eventually even when, when, when you find yourself <laughs> somewhere you did not want to be still all things will work out together at the end of the race you look back and say ah it was worth it. It was worth it. That maze I went through was mm. worth it because I was trusting God for maybe a million shillings and I have been praying for God to give me a million shillings. But if he gave me immediately, then I wouldn't know how to use it. Then I'd go back to bankruptcy. Yeah. But I prayed. It did not come. I really struggled. But that struggle really taught me how to use the little money I had. Mm. So then when the million shilling comes, mm-hmm. I will learn how to invest. Yeah grow it to be, become billions, you know. Yeah. That's just a small example. Yes. Yeah, so wow. just step out. Step out. Yeah. Step out. Lovely message. UT. Oh. Uh, I, just, I was listening to Ron, he had a lot of ideas. Yeah, I agree with what he's saying. Yes, mm-hmm. Now, there's, I think, Two instances. Uh, Jesus said, "Unless a seed falls to the ground and dies, uh, it can never bear fruit." Yeah. So, uh, what we have is a seed. Yes. Each and every one of us has a seed, mm-hmm. and so that seed needs to die first. Yeah. And now, when that seed dies, it will now sprout and become the thing. It will now become a tree. And people will benefit from the fruit. Mm-hmm. So, what you have is actually a seed. Yes. And so you need to allow that seed to die. And that seed will die. It will mean not being in your comfort zone. Ah, correct. It will mean acting out where you don't have all the information. Yeah. But you you know that if I this is what I need to do. Yes. It also means that be be like you're not in the wrong place mm-hmm. where you are. So, it is painful. Death is painful. Mm. Like dying to self is not easy. Yeah. Uh, so the, you'll have to, that. For example, if, maybe if it's doing a video every day, if you are doing music, mm-hmm. doing a video, if it's going live, that is actually death because the days will feel like I can't do this. Yeah. Yeah. So, if it's starting a business, it will mean I'm not, I'm not buying myself this new car or this new. Yes, close. Yes. Phone. Phone. I'm so not going to. Eh? I'm not mm-hmm. going to Varsha because mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> I have to. Like it's not. You're, you're denying yourself. Yes. Let's so, move. Can I Varsha? So then the second thing uh-huh. is uh, Caiaphas uh, said about this. Caiaphas said that when Jesus was about to die, the high priest said it is better for one to die than many. Mm. So he, uh, Jesus death brought everything that we have and so sometimes uh, when you die it will mean also being you'll be lifted yes so even though you'll feel like you're going down mm-hmm. it's actually part of the process yeah someday the fruits of what you're doing will, will come out wow so the risk is the risk is hard yani sometimes it's hard uh, when you're starting out, people will support you, mm-hmm. but you'll get to a point they will not support you, and that is wow. now. That's deep. That's when you'll feel like giving up. Yeah. Like, if, you, for example, if you're doing, if you, if you say, "Hey, I want to start singing," mm-hmm. people will, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. applaud you, and then now, after you've now gained momentum, gained momentum, the support kinda they don't they they won't hate you, but their support won't be visible. Mm-hmm. As such, yes. But that's the time we need to keep on to keep on. Yeah, yeah. Wow, mm. wow. that's powerful. 
That's really deep. Your wisdom, man. Hey. Hey. Michael, wrap I it up. Power to my two happy, my <laughs> Experience. 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 Yeah. Experience. <laughs> okay, me again, and as I say, oh, what I can say is uh, each day uh, when you go out somewhere, you have an intention of doing something. And that intention is always a stepping stone to where you want to be. Mm -hmm. So uh, I give it uh, yeah. the quickest mathematics ever. If you save one shilling per day for the entire year, you'll have something else. Mm -hmm. But if you don't, yeah. you won't have anything. You won't have anything. Mm -hmm. So what I've learned from taking a risk is that uh, today you may fail, tomorrow too, but the next day, yeah. Mm -hmm. It can go up very fast. Yes. As we want to change I. And when those cousins are not able to do that, and you also learn a trick. Mm -hmm. You know, if I do this, this will happen. Yeah. But if I don't do this, this might uh, happen, and that might happen. So we, we we always have like three more choices coming from one decision we made. Wow. This this decision we made. You decided like today we are going to see you. Today. Yes. On our way to CUT, we, were, we had other choices to make. We were like, uh, maybe I should go to Nalongo first. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should see Rome first. Mm -hmm. But I decided, let me go CUT. Mm -hmm. You come to CUT, UT gives you wisdom. And now you're like, by the way, now I can go to Nalongo and do this and that and that. Exactly. According to Kenya, you need, you tell in your beer. Yes. Now I can apply it, you yes. how it works. Yes. If it works for me, then... I'll start using these techniques I'm mean, in True. Day in, day out, day in, day out. It have come out if you want to, eh, I've done this process. Siku mingi sana, mm. but hapa nina nipelekana. Yeah. Let me shift kidogo niende hapa niende yeah. what happens. Yeah. And also, if you don't try something, uh, you miss a lot. And <laughs> oh, Correct. Once, once you miss something, uh, wow. Especially moments, eh? Wow. <laughs> One thing I have as um as bombard how do you say bombard <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait 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 it's, it's recording. recording yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's in recording confirm kwani mti kuna few wisdom unataka kutumia mali uh one thing that has really caught my attention from memo is um if you don't risk it you won't get experience exactly and uh, out here you need it and you know you know, experience is, is, is very important. So if I don't risk um, my laptop has broken, right? Mm -hmm. I won't know I know how to fix it unless I risk fixing it. Yeah. You know? And maybe I might fix it and it breaks even more. Mm -hmm. Then um, I won't know how to no. if it breaks again I may have to go find another solution to fix that broken solution and by that I have increased my knowledge and my experience in fixing computers you see mm -hmm. so if you just sit there and say oh, I'm afraid I can't go to skate because I'm afraid of falling down well you have to fall down so you that you can have know how to balance down. you, have to, fall you down. have to yes yeah so you know even when you step out and, and risk something for me, what I do personally, I usually expect the worst okay. to happen. Okay. So that when it happens, it won't hit me so much. Uh, you know, I was expecting it. All right. So when I take a risk, I know um, most probably when I'm trying to, let me say, when I'm going for driving, I'm trying to learn how to drive a truck. Well, I'll say the worst thing that could happen is you can hit a car. Yeah. You know? And with that in mind, actually, I'll even become more careful. Mm -hmm. Because I'm expecting the worst to happen. Yeah. That's that's for me. I don't know. I don't know about you guys. Okay. But for me, it has worked. When I'm expecting the worst, um, I, I get more. I won't be. I won't be very discouraged when mm -hmm. it doesn't work out mm -hmm. because I was already expecting. Yeah. I, I think what you're that's saying sense. is, uh, someone said, uh, prepare. Prepare for the worst. Yeah. yeah, you prepare for the worst best. and hope for the best. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Prepare Some, for the worst, hope for, for the, the best. Someone said also this, it is risky not to take a risk. Yes. Wow. It's called, yes. He's called Jim Rohn. 
Wow. <laughs> no, it does. It's not R. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. R O H N. Jim Rohn, yeah. Was a, so you said that if you don't take a risk, you're still risking. Life is all about risk. Yes. So if you don't take a risk, if you, uh, if you don't risk what you are afraid of mm. losing, losing, you can. You are still risking. It's losing. a risk. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So it, risk is something that we must accept and appreciate. It's not something that is there to harm us. Mm. Yes, and make yeah. it uh, a, a daily thing. In our daily routine, we are risking something. Ah, okay. Either way. So uh, you don't risk it today and say, ah, I say, I think I'll try next month. Because in between, from now up to next month, you may risk it and then it gives out a positive uh, feedback. Mm. Ama you may risk it and then uh, you're back here telling me, hey, with him, with my, that thing you told me, when you're on, I'm to be up at the forex thing. <laughs> yeah. You told me this and that and that, and I did everything you told me. But how come I'm getting zeros out? Yeah. So yeah. each time you're risking something, uh, there's a very high possibility you'll get it back and even more. What, yeah. One mm. more thing. Mm-hmm. Just to make it simple. Mm-hmm. We all, like, we take a lot of risks, by the way. For example, when you wake up, when you're eating, mm-hmm. you actually risk being choked. Each and everything that you do, by the way, you correct. Risk. You're yeah. actually risking. So if you are risk averse, yeah. uh, you, you to paran- when you become paranoid, yeah. you will not take any risk. Mm. For example, if you even like when you ukipanda mat, you are risking. The car is risking. Yeah, yeah, they are risking hitting something. Yes, yes. So, uh, uh, <laughs> so it's actually everything that we do, we are actually risking. Yeah. So, yeah. but the the thing is, when you look when you look at it from that angle, it's not a positive angle. Yeah. So instead of looking at it from the risk angle, mm-hmm. look at it from the flip side, which is faith. Yes. So you say, um, like, be more faith uh, aware mm-hmm. more than risk aware. Okay. So like when you're making a decision, you're making it out of being faith aware, and it's not about risk awareness. Like, mm-hmm. don't look at this is what I'm risking. This is what I'm risking. Yes. Ri- so, ris- look at it from I'm I'm having faith, faith. about this. Mm-hmm. For example, someone who has fear of going out. Uh, when they, are, when they will say, I am risking going out. Yes. For example, come on into mm. they are risking their safety. Yes. But someone who is faith aware, mm-hmm. is like, I am having faith that I will get there and I will, I'll still be safe. Yes. So the same word has yes. two things. Yes. So it depends on the flip on the side of the coin you're looking for. Yeah. So yeah. if you're looking at it from the negative defeatist side, you are looking at it from the risk. Yeah. Yes. If you're looking from the positive side, mm-hmm. it is great. Wow. Hmm. Yes. That's a beautiful way to wrap it up. I know we can talk about this in many angles. We've not talked about how we have taken risks in relationships. You know, that's another thing. You know, I, I could be asking, is it risky as a young person to be following Jesus, you know, in this day and age? But that's a story for another day. Uh, but my take out is, is, you know, we should know that risk is what is uh, maybe the one among other things that is standing uh, between us and our success or the victories ahead. Um, so, yeah, thanks, guys, for this conversation. And let's have a risk, risk-full day. <laughs> And a risk full time ahead. Day of faith. A day of faith. faith. Days ahead full of faith. Cheers. Cheers. Cool. (laughs) We (laughs) don't (laughs) have (laughs) to (laughs) stop. (laughs) We (laughs) don't (laughs) have (laughs) to (laughs) stop.